Hello guys, I am Lily K. You saw me on Nerdist channel for like two times already, so that's something. You might recognize my face. And I am here today to talk about the same things as the guys did, sadly. And I am sad that we have to talk about this. Like, why? I think it's a universal question, like why, in a lot of cases, but this one is really just a hard why. Um, we are, of course, talking about the toxic fans. And every big movie has these people. Every single one of them. Why do you guys even exist? Like, I think in the world that we are living right now, it's it's even bigger than it ever was before. I mean, I'm not gonna say that it didn't exist like years ago, like way, way, way back when they started to make movies. I mean, there will always be people that are just simply toxic to the film industry and not just to the film industry. We can talk about books, we can talk about TV shows, we can talk about anything, basically. Um, I just had a talk with one of my friends, let's, let's call him that, one of my friends, and, um, you know, we had a little argument because back in the days he was complaining that Marvel didn't do enough fan service so there were things that we wanted to see but we didn't get to see because they choose another path just to you know get it clear and now that they did it in Avengers Endgame because we can say that it was a full-on fan service and now that you got it like full-on in Endgame it's not good. Like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with these people? Like, seriously, nothing's enough? Like, nothing is enough? Like, uh, if you get what you want, that's the problem. If you don't get what you want, that's the problem. Like, make up your mind, people. Are we serious right now? Like, ah, I know I can be a bit overdramatic if things didn't turn out the way I would have liked them to turn out in one of my favorite TV shows or in one of my favorite movie uh, franchises. And honestly, don't get me started on Mass Effect ending, like the, the third Mass Effect game, which was amazing by the way, but the ending just sucked so hard. And honestly, I became the toxic fan we are talking about right now but some people just take it to the next level and and it's just it's, they just can't see it that basically if something turns out really badly it's mostly their fault because you might think that the people that are making these films and tv shows are not really listening to you but they do and I think it's becoming a problem, to be honest. I liked The Last Jedi. I really liked it. I know then even Mark Hamill had problems with it, but I thought it was fun. I, I thought it was interesting. I thought that it brought in something different. And um, then seeing how they attacked that poor girl who was playing the new character, that was just the character that she played and she was actually really good at it and she made it fun. And I, I just cannot imagine how can you start your career when people are coming around and saying really, really bad things about you and they weren't even true. She did what she could with the character and I think for her first role it was really good. And you're ruining her life. She had to quit Twitter and Instagram and everything because you were harassing her. I would never go to the length to actually blame people and say that they are the evil because something didn't turn out the way I wanted it. I think what happened with Game of Thrones just lately is that people had all these theories, everything. And don't get me wrong, I know that there were a lot of mistakes in the last season, like story-wise, like character-wise and everything. I know that. It's, it's not about that. But, you know, there were all these fan theories 
going around on on the internet way before season eight uh, was coming out, way before it happened actually. It was going around since like I don't know, since season three or something like that. And uh, when the creators decided to go on another way, which meant that you know fans didn't get what they wanted and what they were dreaming about, uh, there we were. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, but it just makes me really, really angry. It, it makes me angry because I think that the season final was was actually good. I really enjoyed it. I, I mean, and the cinematography and everything, perfection, just perfection. And I just hate seeing people that are saying that the whole show is completely ruined because of six episodes that they didn't like. It's not ruined. It is not. I don't know what you're talking about, but you want too many things at the same time. And I grant you that if those fan theories were, were to come true uh, in, in the season final, that would have been a problem as well. I mean, nothing's enough for people. Nothing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in here today at Nerdy Blurb TV and checking out this video. Consider subscribing if you're into this kind of stuff because we like to keep it nerdy here and interact with cool individuals such as yourself. Have a great day.